Hello friends and welcome to another pen pal with me video. Welcome back and if you're new here then please subscribe if you enjoy and like the video and if you're somebody that comes and watches all my pen pal with me's and other videos then thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you're all having a wonderful autumn so far and I'm honestly having the best time crafting like every single day. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time at my desk recently and today we are making a magical type letter and this is to follow the prompt from my challenge over on Instagram which is going on for the whole of October and it's called Mailtober. So if you're not aware of that then I would definitely recommend going and checking out my Instagram because all the information is over there. So this letter is actually going to be one of the prizes as part of the challenge so I don't know who this is going to yet, I will just have to wait and see when the challenge has finished but I have actually run out of letters to reply to, I've managed to finish all of my pen pal letters and I have managed to reply to all of my PO box mail and there was a big pile of PO box mail so if you sent me a mail then there is a reply on its way to you finally, sorry it has taken me so long but Meltoba seems like the perfect opportunity to kind of just get a load of envelopes finished and decorated so I have managed to get them all done but that does mean that I have no other letters to reply to so I have been trying to find ways to make the prompts and this was an idea that I had while I was like I may as well just start making the prize now and then I can always add the person's name on at the end. This letter is kind of like a pinky type theme and I really wanted to use these stickers from Marigoni Suli Art and I've had them for quite a while but I've been saving them for something in particular and this prompt was it because her sticker sheet is all to do with magical beings so I thought it would be the perfect one to kind of include in this theme. Now her sticker sheet is pinky purple and I don't have a lot of pink type paper. I, I don't know, pink isn't a colour that I particularly go for normally so it was quite interesting using it and challenging myself to kind of try something new and it did mean that I could use this book washi tape which is also from her and I absolutely adore this washi tape so it was really nice to use this. It was quite strange trying to decorate it without a name because I usually try and organise everything around the person's name but because there wasn't one there I had to think about where I was going to leave some space because obviously I don't know who I'm sending it to yet so I don't know if they're going to have a really short name or a really long name so I was just kind of trying to organise lots of different things and I had this kind of vintage style clock sticker that I have had for a very long time and it came in a pack ages ago of a load of like vintage objects and then they've just surrounded them with flowers so this one went quite well with the theme and I was actually listening to an audiobook whilst I was making this I've been listening to The Atlas 6 and if you know already from watching my videos I'm not a huge reader I used to be and I would like to be but I just do not have the time to read because of work and all of my million hobbies so I have started listening to some audiobooks because Spotify started including a certain amount of time that you could listen to audiobooks on the subscription so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to try and listen to some stories that I'd wanted to listen to and I've been listening to it on my drive to and from work every single day and I'm very close to finishing the book but now that I have two weeks off work it means that I need to listen to it when I'm not driving so I thought this would be a good time to try and get the book finished. I'm yet to finish it, I think I have about an hour left so I'm nearly at the end. I'm not going to give too much of my opinion on it because I might in the future do a reading spread in my journal 
just to kind of commemorate the fact that I have actually read a book and because the story is kind of very magical, they've got powers, it's dark academia, it felt like it was kind of inspiring me a bit with this letter. So the envelope is all finished and I do really like how it turned out to be honest. It was quite nice to use the pink and for the flip book I actually made kind of like a journal style. I just got two sheets of paper and then I sewed them together and then I thought I would try and create some different pockets inside and this is also one of the new washi tapes that I bought from Marigona Sue the Art and I thought I would use the girl sticker on the front cover. So I'm just adding the leftover bits into my sticker release book so that I can use them at another time. I think some of these memos are things that you guys have sent me so thank you for that and then these stickers are just some old ones that I bought from AliExpress quite a while ago and this paper actually was gifted to me by my boyfriend's mum she gave me like loads of stationery paper that she got given by somebody else and she was like you have it all so I have got a bunch of new like craft paper to use up and then this moth sticker is also from Aliexpress and I didn't really know what to do for the front cover I just kind of tried to do a collage I guess but I do really like the paper it's kind of reminds me of like grandma's old table like lace tablecloths or doilies and I thought that the colour actually was a perfect purple that I was kind of looking for now I really wanted to add the girl sticker from the washi tape onto the front cover but I found it really hard because the background is very orange and I wasn't really using any orange in this theme so I ended up cutting her out um, to get rid of all the other details in the background and this was quite difficult to do actually like cutting it out and I would definitely do it again because you get another girl sticker to use but I think next time I would probably stick her onto a piece of cardboard or something and then use my cutting knife to cut her out and then just peel it off and hope that it would stick on top and then I just wanted to add some extra details with these stamps that I have been just using non-stop so I'm really happy that I bought these because they are definitely getting some use out of them. So for the inside I had this paper that is from a Sostrine Green pack, the one on the right hand side. So that is kind of like one of the pages inside my flip book and then I wanted to just use the leftover card from the envelope to try and create some pockets that I'll be able to fill with goodies and lots of different things for the winner to use. Now for the competition, I am going to choose a couple of winners. Well, I will choose somebody that I want to win and then I'm also going to use a random generator and add anyone that's entered the whole competition. Well, it's not even like a competition, it's just a fun challenge and then you just happen to might win some things at the end. So, so the other person will be chosen at random. If I end up running out of things to send to people before the end of all the prompts, I might end up just like making some extra letters and envelopes or things to send to people, but they might not, not necessarily be filled up with lots of goodies, but it just means that I can send a little bit more to you guys who have joined in with the challenge. So I just want to add a little bit of decoration on the pockets and then the patterned pages, they are just going to be purely for decoration just to kind of bring the whole theme together and kind of give me an excuse to do a little bit more decorating. Mm -hmm. 
as I was saying, I have two weeks off work now, which is amazing. These are my two favorite weeks of the whole year because I just love October. I love all the coziness and it means that I can just kind of chill at home and craft for two weeks. And I'm hoping that in this time, I'm gonna be able to film a few YouTube videos and kind of get ahead of myself because I used to be like, I would always have a few videos kind of ready. So when I was making them, there wasn't that pressure to really get them done. But now I have like none made in the future. So this video I have literally edited and uploaded today and I recorded it yesterday. So it's all very last minute at the minute because of work. And it's quite difficult for me to record when I get home from work at the moment because now that it is autumn, it means that it's getting a lot darker. So I think I need to try and upgrade my lighting because when it's daytime like this, it's absolutely fine. But then it just means that I can't really record at nighttime um, because the lighting is just not great. I do have a proper light. I just broke the sand for it. So I think I either need to replace that or try and figure out a new way to balance it so that I can record a little bit more at nighttime for you guys. But if you have any videos that you do want to see in the future, then please let me know below because I just keep kind of doing the same things that I've always done. And it'll be quite nice to kind of do something a little bit different. I am actually hoping to try and do another travel journal with me, even though I'm not technically going anywhere really far, but I might just do one to kind of document the holidays and the things that I do. So I'm also seeing some friends and Lucy, my pen pal, is actually coming to my house next week. So we might try and record something. I don't know what, but <laughs> we'll just have to see. But I think I'm gonna try and do some more travel journal with me because I really like making those and I really like getting to print out all the pictures. And it's really fun for me to compile all the footage from what I've been doing and kind of like put it all together. And it just makes me feel like I'm romanticizing my life, even though it's not that interesting. But I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. So for the back page, I just did pretty much the same thing that I did on the first one, just to give myself the opportunity to add even more goodies for the people that receive this. And I just did a little bit of decoration at the bottom, nothing too fancy. And then the page in the middle, I wasn't too sure what to do with this one. I'm gonna to have to send the person receiving this a letter or some sort of writing to, you know, say congratulations and all that. So I just decided that I would decorate the edge of the whole page and add a little bit of extra decoration. And then this way I can just write the letter straight onto this paper. So it's kind of a part of the whole flip book. Because they're not obviously my pen pal or anything like that, well they might be, I don't know, but the it means that I'm not going to write a whole letter and tell them my whole life story or anything like that, so I just need to say a few words and this kind of felt like this would be the perfect amount of space to do that. So I just kind of took the opportunity to use any of scraps from this letter that I'd already started using just to decorate the whole page. And I was using this vintage music sheet paper and in this book, I, it's actually a really thick book so it feels like I've got loads of it to use up, which is great. So I do try and use it whenever I'm crafting. And if you watched my studio, craft studio like setup video, then you'll see that I do have a really big collection of vintage papers. So I do find it really hard to use them, especially when they're kind of one-offs or it's like pictures of nature stuff. I find that really difficult to use because they're just like so pretty and there isn't like another version of it. It's like that is the only picture that there is that I can use. So when I do find a big chunky book, then that's really great because it means that I don't hoard it as much as I know that there are a lot of pages and it's gonna last me a long time. And I do kind of have to remind myself that it's not terrible that I have so much vintage paper because it means that I can share it with my pen pals 
and I also use it for my Patreon as well because in each month Happy Mail, all of my patrons get a little mini paper pack each month. So I do need the paper for that, of course. And I recently went to a vintage like antique shop that I've never been to before and it's quite close to where I live and I didn't really know that it was there. Well, I did know it was there, but I just never really thought of going, which is strange because I do really enjoy going to vintage shops. Um, but then my boyfriend took me and I ended up buying these two paintings that were they had like green frames, wooden frames, and then they were old bird illustrations painted on top of silk and they are in like Japanese style and they've got like Japanese writing on and they are currently in my lounge, which I really like. But the other thing that I found whilst I was there, because they did have lots of vintage books and I didn't buy any books because now I kind of don't like myself unless it's something really spectacular or something that I really don't have already and they had this huge pack which was like a bundle of music sheets and there was this massive like music sheet book which was a really really it's probably like the oldest one that I own and then there was a bunch of other ones as well and like concert leaflets and lots of different things that I could use and I ended up buying that as well so <laughs> that's kind of just somewhere in my craft studio but I have actually been using that and I will be using it in future Patreon rewards as well so that was kind of like my reason behind buying that I was like well then I'll have lots of music sheets uh, that I can keep in Patreon stuff so that's hidden away for now but I will be using it soon but other than that I have been quite good with buying vintage books. If you watch my last travel journal with me then you'll see the vintage bookshop that I went to where I did actually buy the Enid Holden, I think that's the right name, no Edith Holden, um, like vintage journals, nature journals and they're really cute and that's kind of what inspired my nature journal with me video as well. So yeah I have been pretty good with the books. So in this video you won't actually see me fill up the pockets with the goodies because I don't really know who is actually going to receive this yet because obviously the monthly challenge hasn't finished yet and I don't know who the winner is going to be. So I haven't filled it up in the video because when the person wins it I want to be able to kind of like stalk their profile a little bit and kind of figure out what their aesthetic is because I don't want to like fill it up with loads of vintage style stuff and then they only use like colourful, bright, like cutesy kind of stationery and then the same goes the other way as well. So I didn't put any stationery in it just yet because I thought I wanted to kind of tailor it to the person that was receiving it so that I knew that they would be able to use it, it wouldn't go to waste and it just makes it a bit more enjoyable for them as well because they're obviously receiving things that they will like. And I will be making a, another one as well because there are going to be two winners. So the other person will be chosen at random. And I'm not too sure what I'm going to do for that one, but it will be something similar along the lines of like a flip book filled with lots of goodies and another envelope. So I'll probably end up doing another melt over prompt for that envelope just so that I have something else to create. But yeah, that is the flip book and the envelope all finished. I really like how it turned out. It's kind of a little bit different to what I usually do maybe, not that different, but more of the colour palette is quite different to what I'm used to. But yeah, if you enjoyed then please like and subscribe and thank you so much for sticking with me to the end, listening to all my rambling as per usual. If you have made it this far, then please add a little purple emoji in the comments to show me that you've made it this far and I really appreciate you and I hope to see you in the next one. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and you're having a lovely cosy Sunday evening. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!